Hey gang, welcome to Double Sunday. Fox here. Uh, today we're trying out a new microphone. It's a uh, Samson. It's the Q2U dynamic mic. Hopefully that makes things a little easier for us. Hopefully it sounds good. All right. Wednesday, My Happy Marriage episode six just came out. So much in this one. Uh, vindication. Vindication with uh, Lord Kudo, with Kaya. Uh, how Kaya just keeps, can only think about what she wants. Man, I was so hoping we would get to see Lord Kudo actually have a response to Kaya. We did. Man, as I was watching, sitting here, I was just, as soon as it happened, I just, woo, all to myself. All right, so they kidnapped Mio in the last episode. They're holding her back in the storehouse. Uh, Kaya and her mother, Kaya and Kaya's mother are holding Mio in the storehouse. They're beating her up. They're abusing her. They're trying to get Mio to reject uh, Lord Kudo's marriage offer, to reject the marriage altogether. Still, because in Kaya's mind, <laughs> it's just up to her. Like, as, as soon as Mio steps out of the way, she can just have Lord Kudo again. No thought of his side of things. Would he actually accept me? Would he want me? And they addressed it in this episode, and it felt so good to see that addressed. Um, Lord Kudo makes his way to the Saimori estate with Koji. Uh, and right off the bat, Lord Kudo, he's not messing around. He uses his gift with a lightning, a huge lightning strike. He just smashes the front gate of the Saimori residence. They make their way in. Mio's dad and uh, Tatsuishi, Koji's dad, they both try to stand in the way of Lord Kudo finding Mio. And again, you got to think about the mindset. I was just thinking, how is how does this work out in uh, in their minds? Um, they've obviously kidnapped Mio. They're obviously responsible for it. Even if Mio did come back and say, "Okay, Lord Kudo, I'm rejecting your offer," it's obvious why she's saying that. It's obvious they kidnapped her. They pressured her to reject the marriage. So it, it, there's no way he would even take it seriously, even if she did come out and say that. It's totally obvious why she would be saying that. Obviously, she was pressured to do that. So anyway, uh, Tatsuishi and Saimori, they're trying to stand in the way of Lord Kudo, and he just takes their attacks and flicks them away and then smashes them both with some more lightning. Um, actually, Whenever he uh, deflects this big flame attack from uh, Tatsuishi, the fire actually goes and encompasses Saimori's house, the trees, everything around it. So <laughs> their own evil deeds, of course, are now uh, causing repercussions uh, for themselves. Saimori's home is now in flames uh, because of these bad actions that his wife and daughter have taken and his friend Tatsuishi. So Lord Kudo makes his way to the storehouse. Uh, Mio has been holding out this whole time. She says, I will not reject the marriage. Uh, she, she finally decides, you know what, I've lived this life of suffering and now I finally found this tiny bit of happiness. Lord Kudo says he wants me to be with him. I want to be with him as well and I'm not going to give this up. I finally have a sliver of happiness. I finally have uh, a doorway opening to happiness in my life. I don't want to give that up. And good on her. So she says, I will not. It's me. Of course, it's making Kaya and uh, Kaya's mom just angrier and angrier. They're smacking her around, cutting her new kimono. But Mio just won't do it. And finally, Lord Kudo does show up at the storehouse. He rescues Mio. And Kaya still even at this point, uh, it's, you know, he's asking, which I thought he was going to smack her with some lightning too, or something. Uh, cause you know, at this point your blood's just boiling, watching Kaya smack around Mio after all the emotional abuse they've already put her through. Now they're giving her physical abuse and trying to take away her happiness after she was already off and going away from the family. Now that they're trying to pull her back and take everything away from her. So Lord Kudo comes in, uh, saves Mio, and 
Kaya still, she says, oh, I was just trying to correct a mistake. <laughs> and it's still, your blood just boils and boils and boils. But finally, <clears throat> Lord Kudo looks at her and he says, uh, I would never choose to be with a, with a brat like you. Choose to be with someone as arrogant as you. And finally, we hear it from his side. I would never choose you. And my gosh. Did that feel so good when that happened I was like yes finally we're seeing someone from the other side again because like we talked about last time Kai couldn't even conceive of what the other person might want it doesn't matter all that matters is what she wants so to see Lord Kudo stand there and say I wouldn't want you I don't want you I want Mio just oh so good so good warm feelings all around so that was great. Uh, unfortunately, of course, the uh, Tatsuishi plan failed, but whoever is above Tatsuishi is now going to initiate his plan to... I, I don't know if they're planning on kidnapping Mio themselves or if uh, they, they made it sound like they need to just get rid altogether of the bloodline or of that gift so i don't know if their plan is to uh to capture her for themselves or if they're just going to straight up try to kill mio uh to get rid of that usaba bloodline not sure we'll have to find out but yeah this was a great episode uh it had had me on the edge of my seat as the expression goes um yeah we weren't sure if we were going to find her we found her not only that, we got to see Lord Kudo say, I reject you to Kaya. Warm, fuzzy feelings right when that happened. And watching him uh, call down the lightning and just destroy Tatsuishi and Saimori uh, whenever they were trying to stand in the way of him rescuing Mio. That was fantastic. Side note, uh, I know the whole season has already wrapped of Mie Ruko-chan, but I just started watching it last night and it's hilarious if you want something interesting new fun surprising to watch i would go check that out it's not what i expected it had me laughing a lot harder at some moments than i was expecting to laugh at all i wasn't expecting to laugh at all since it's having to do with ghosts and things like that but it's very interesting uh the way it's written it's actually really hilarious all right that's what we're going to talk about today Hope you have a great day. Thanks for sticking with me this far, if you have. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.